for the first time since early March, houses of worship here in Utah were able to open their doors. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph joining us live after visiting some of those places of worship today. Spencer. Brian Kirsten, of those worship places that we did visit today, there weren't a lot of in-person attendees, but religious leaders are saying they're thinking that's going to change in the next couple of weeks. As a part of executive orders released last week by Governor Gary Herbert, religious services are now allowed with social distancing. Most faiths are easing into things, such as the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. President Russell M. Nelson announced the phase reopening of the church last week, with the first phase starting on Monday. For the Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Taylorsville. This morning was our first opportunity to be uh, back together with spreading people out to allow some of them at least to be in here. They say Sunday was a joyous occasion. I walked out and saw their faces. It kind of hit me harder than I expected. A great joy to, to be able to have that physical presence. And even though the past few months have been challenging, their faiths have not been shaken. We belong to the Lord and we are the church because we're his, not because we got a building set up. Across town in the vast hall of the Cathedral of the Madeline. It was a great joy to have people come back and join us for Mass. So for Catholics, no one is required to go to Mass. They're not comfortable if they don't want to, if, for whatever reason. Only a few people attended the in-person Mass on Sunday, but starting Monday, the church will resume a normal schedule. Health and safety. We're able to have social distancing, six feet front and back on each side, which means we'll be able to have 120, maybe 150 people. Usually we're able to sit between six and 800. For Father Martin Diaz, COVID-19 has hit home. It's been very sad. Just, we want to be together and we want to see each other. Um, it's, it's just something that's missing. It's something that you know you have to do. But for these houses of warships, as restrictions continue to loosen, the strength of their community will continue to grow. And we're walking through this together separately. We're not able to, to be together, and yet we are together as one. For both churches we visited today, they keep their remote services, whether it's streaming or here at the Cathedral of the Madeline, they actually have a remote communion service that actually delivers communion to people. They're going to keep those things going in the meantime until things get a little bit more back to normal. In downtown Salt Lake City, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.